We will go on the phone line and speak to a former mayor of uh, Accra, Dr. Alf Alfred Oko van der Poy. Uh, he's also a member of parliament. Uh, very good evening to you and thank you very much for joining us, sir. Uh, thank you and good evening. All right. I just want to pick your thoughts on the nomination, especially focus on the uh, Accra mayor. Are you surprised? Oh, no, no, I'm not surprised. I mean, um, and let me say good evening to your um, listeners and viewers. But um, I'm not surprised, as I, I've said, uh, because, you know, the Constitution gives the right of nomination to our president to nominate who he wants to serve as his, um, as his uh, chief executive. Okay. And, um, you know, it's been in the pipeline coming for nine months now. So we've all been expecting it. It's taking too long. And uh, we have heard so many names. And so far as Accra is concerned, uh, we have known that one day you hear is uh, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, and the right. next day you hear is mm -hmm. uh, uh, who will be retained. And, you know, so the names have been all out there, so we are not surprised. I'm not Okay, so what do you think about her? competence i mean one would say she has experience because she's a member of a former member of parliament for kaikui north uh former deputy um great Harker regional minister so she has some experience what do you think of her com one what do you make of her competence and then two um do you think she can deliver well you know um yes you have you have uh, recognized the, 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 the positions that she has held in the in the past. Right. I think we need to add to that that she has also been an assembly member before right. of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. So I am very sure that she comes to the job with some high level of experience in uh, local government, being that she has also been a deputy regional minister and you know, having been with the assembly. So the expectation, I believe, is high for her. And uh, I think she has to be given the chance to see what um, she'll be able to bring to the table and hold the fort of the office to a very high extent. Well, and uh, I believe... Mm -hmm. okay. Hello? Please go ahead. I'm listening. Please go ahead. Yes. And... Um, you know, I personally have high expectations for her, and I've known her f over the years before we all entered into politics. And uh, I know that uh, she'll be, she, she will stand up to the task, and that is the expectation that I have for her. Uh, you know, she's, she's been with us in Accra. She knows the city very well. I'm sure she knows the issues, the issues about sanitation, the issues about uh, flooding. The flooding in the right. city, right. the issues about uh, decongestion of the city. I mean, I'm sure that uh, being at the regional office, these things have come to her several times. So she should come prepared and stand tall as a leader for the city and take bold decisions and be visible, be a listener, and I think that she should be able to roll up her sleeves and, and, and tackle the issues. Right, and before you go, I know that you mentioned flooding. It was, it was one of the areas that I was particularly interested in. Um, what would it take for a mayor of Accra? Um, you encountered it, and Elizabeth Saki is coming in. What would it take to conquer or try to find solutions to the perennial flooding in the capital? Well, you know, before I left office, I left a blueprint. The blueprint that I left is not the work of only Oku van der Poel. Okay. It's the work from E.T. Mensah time. The, all the recommendations that have been from mayor to mayor to mayor until they got to my turn. And I put it all together and I said, this is what I think will end the flooding in Accra or manage it to some extent a greater extent to provide solutions. So um, I hope 
that um, the new mayor coming in, that is Honorable Elizabeth Saki, will go back to that blueprint. Anything short of that will be scratching the surface, honestly speaking. You know, look, I had high hopes when Honorable Atachina became the Minister for Works and Housing. Mm. In her vetting, he did say that he has seen what Okova Napoy left, and he would ensure that that would be implemented. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Okay. So anybody who takes the you know, reins of affairs at AMB okay. who would not look at that critically and seriously and put politics aside and say, look, let us do this, Anything short of that, I don't think will be answering the questions of the challenges around flooding. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Dr. Alfred Okovanda Poi is a former mayor of Accra and a member of parliament for Ablikuma South uh, here in the capital, uh, speaking about his expectations of the incoming mayor. And also, he said he's left the blueprint to fighting the perennial flooding in the capital.